Hey guys, so since I haven't made a video in about a week, and I won't be uploading until season 13 is completely like fixed and everything, I thought it was best if I showed you guys my OBS settings for recording and streaming, and to help you guys record and stream no matter what computer and or internet you have. Um, if you have a really, really, really bad computer, I'm sorry, but there's nothing you can record with, and there's no chance of me even being able to help you, so I'm sorry about that, but not everybody's computer is good enough to record. It's completely fine. It's not a bad thing, but if you have a bad computer, but it's still capable of recording, I can show you guys how. It's not that hard, but before I actually get into the settings, guys, I just want you to know that OBS is more of a program that determines its quality by how good your computer is. So make sure you mess around with the settings to what fits your computer. If your computer can't handle the setting, turn it down a little bit and just make sure it works for your computer and that'll be the best quality for you. So just your best option is just to mess around a lot with the settings and try not to do anything that your computer can't handle. All right, so we're gonna start off by getting OBS at start. If you guys want to get OBS Studio, you can, but I'm not gonna make a tutorial, tutorial about OBS Studio as it's a little bit more complex and I haven't even tried it really. So if you download this from right here, obsproject.com, it'll straight up give you the CLR browser as well. So if we open the CLR browser, this is mainly just if you're going to stream, go to Twitch Alerts or whatever else you use, stream tip or whatever, I, it doesn't matter, you know, uh, but Twitch Alerts will like follow alert, don donor alert, stuff like that. Then you put in the URL here and then you have Twitch Alerts set up. Um, as well as Game Capture, if you go to Game Capture here, uh, as long as you make stretch image to screen, it will look a lot better and it won't have black areas around where if you're like not fully tabbed in, you know, so definitely have that set. Um, now we can get into the, we can get into settings, but I'm going to start off and just show you a few things that you could do with the preview. Obviously you guys can move around the preview and this might look a little weird for a second, but just bear with me. So you can move around, but as you can see, it kind of sticks to the wall if you get too close. So if you hold control and you go to the wall, it won't stick to the wall just for anybody who wants to use like a border or an overlay. And you don't want it exactly on the corners. That'll help you out. So just make sure you do that. As well as you hold shift while you're doing that, it will not maintain the aspect ratio and it will go to whatever you want. If you unhold shift while you're doing that, it will go back to it like that. Okay. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, go to settings, encoding, and then make sure you have in, uh, x264 preset on your video encoding set because we're going to go to advanced. And then if you have a really bad CPU, make sure you do whatever your computer can handle. Okay, if your computer can handle fast, that means you have a really, really good CPU. And that's going to make the color better and that's going to make the video quality itself look better. Now, mainly I wouldn't use fast unless you're going to be streaming. But you can it for, you can do it for recording, but it will take a lot of your CPU. And if you use ultra fast, it will take a very little of your CPU. And um, if you have a bad CPU, I would 100% recommend this. But make sure you have tried all of them except for these. Don't try like medium, slower, slower unless you have an insanely good CPU. Most of the time, just stick with whatever you can run. If it says high CPU encoding over here while you're playing your game and it keeps freezing on the recording, make sure you bump it up to something faster and it will take less CPU and hopefully stop freezing. And then make sure you have this as set to main. You don't really need to worry about the rest of this. Um, just make sure you have all of this set. If you guys want to pause it, you can. Now if you're still lagging while you're on ultra fast, make sure that your video settings are not extremely high. The lower resolution, the better your FPS will be at the same time, okay? So if you're streaming and you're still lagging, make sure you're not on 1080p. If you're on 1080p, you probably will lag if you're on 60 FPS and uh, ultra fast. Even ultra fast, it could still lag you, but make sure you downscale it. It still will, as it says right here, if it will show again, it will improve the video, uh, video quality as long as you have like a better filter or whatever. Now, if you're recording, I would go to whatever bitrate you can handle or whatever looks good. It doesn't really matter. But if you're streaming, remember you would do an internet speed test. And if you have a, anything over 10 upload, I would definitely recommend going to 5,000 bitrate for both of these and just always match whatever it is. So if you have really good internet, definitely go up to 5,000. I wouldn't go any higher. 
even if it says like where is it video or whatever uh right here it says it wouldn't be optimized for twitch it doesn't matter just ignore it it'll be better quality you just gotta trust me it just says it says that because if you go too high on your bitrate twitch will recognize it as a ddos attack and will turn your stream off so that's why you don't want to stream with twenty five thousand. that's why i'm just recording now for audio so say you wanted your stream or your recording to hear the background music a little bit louder than you wanted to hear yourself so if you like you barely have it on for yourself but you want your stream to hear it pretty loudly remember this boosts your entire thing not just your background music your entire desktop but if you want to boost it up keep boosting it up to whatever you like as well as your mic say you want your mic to be louder and you can't turn up your mic any more than it already is just turn that up for the boost it it, it would it'll just turn it up for the stream and that's it it'll, it's good I, I wish i knew that a year ago but that's about it um as far as hockey is just do whatever you want you know it's set to whatever you want it to be for broadcast settings go to the live stream or file it but only if you're gonna record it does, if you're only gonna record otherwise if you're just gonna if you're gonna stream and record with the same thing i would just stay on live stream um do whatever you want for this make sure you have for your F fms url make sure it's whatever is closest to you okay uh and then pass stream key just go to twitch and get your stream key or log in using it it's really weird but if you guys want a delay you can and then i always like to record my streams so at the end of this it will say dot fov like that you want to delete that and type in dot mp4 so that it saves it as a dot mp4 file that's how I get my highlights. I always record my streams while I'm streaming, and that'll help out. Now, if you guys want to copy off all of my settings, feel free. Just pause it whenever. These are my recording settings. I'll do my stream settings in a second. Really, all I do for my stream settings is I set that to 5,000, and then if my internet is we being weird, I'll just turn it down. Um, but I always have my audio bitrate really high so that my mic sounds good and then I always have my video bitrate pretty high because I have good internet usually and uh, yeah so and then video I always have it downscaled broadcast settings I always save it and I have my mind set there uh, video yeah you see that I was I have this boosted a little bit so you guys can hear better and then for advanced I just have this these are my generally my stream settings so uh, I have this set on just because sometimes I like to record in 120 FPS. You really don't need to worry about these, but if you guys want, remember YouTube is your favorite person ever. It's your best friend. Go check out other videos if you need help with anything. Um, y the internet's an amazing place, that's all I can say. So as a brief overview for you guys, the main thing that affects your FPS in-game will definitely be your encoding. It won't do that much, but your bitrate will do some. Your advanced whatever your cpu preset is ultra fast will give you the best fps with the worst quality um fast will give you the best quality with the worst fps or most cpu usage i can't say it really does much to your fps for me at least and then if i go to video if you don't have this downscaled it will make you lag a little bit especially if you're recording on really high settings but always downscale whatever resolution the lower resolution the better fps you'll get so that's about that's about all. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped. And yeah. See you guys.